I'm Amanda. Welcome to The Amanda Show, a cooking adventure. Every episode, I'm going to teach all LMU students how to cook a cheap, healthy, and quick meal. Today, we're going to focus on lunch. So today, I'm going to raid a person's room with my Mary Poppins bag. Let's see if this person in McCarthy wants some lunch. Hi, Hello. I'm Amanda. Nice to meet you. And I have a cooking show on the Roar Network. And I was wondering, can I use your room for maybe 10 minutes and cook you up an amazing lunch? Wow, cook me lunch. I hope it's high in protein though, because I'm going to the gym later. Perfect. We're making tuna. All right, well, I was just headed to the library to print something, so uh, I'll just let you go in, and I'll be back in a couple minutes. Perfect. America's favorite canned food, and what our whole episode is going to be surrounded around today is canned tuna. Canned tuna is loaded with protein, is low in calories, and low in fat. A can of tuna costs in between 60 cents to a dollar and all you have to do is open the can and you can make a sandwich, a salad, anything you want. But I know not everyone is a huge fan of seafood. Don't worry, have no fear, Amanda is here. I have an alternative for you and that is canned chicken. Canned chicken you can find right next to the canned tuna in any grocery store. And just like tuna, it's cheap, it's loaded with protein, low in calories, and low in fat. So, if you don't like the taste and the smell of seafood or tuna, have no fear. Amanda is here. Any of these recipes I do today can be made with canned chicken. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a healthier version of a tuna spread. Now, everyone knows you mix tuna with your mayonnaise and you've got tuna, right? Mayonnaise probably isn't the healthiest spread to use on tuna, so I have thought of an alternative that I think is tastier and loaded with nutrients and virtually no calories, I'm telling you. I call it Amanda's Healthy Tuna Spread. All you need is a can of tuna, make sure it's marked dolphin safe, mix it with a spoonful of Greek yogurt, a packet of mustard and lemon juice and you've got your spread. I pre-made it for all of the recipes in today's episode. I'm gonna put a little twist on the classic tuna salad. This one I call Mama's Tuna Salad. My mom is a dietitian, so she's always told me how important it is to have greens and protein in your diet. So we're just going to use the same tuna mixture that I just made. And we're just going to add a little more protein to this and some greens and we're going to have an amazing salad. So you could get any lettuce from any salad bar on campus as I got here in my Mary Poppins bag. Some leafy greens. Darker greens are better for you. They have more vitamins and minerals than light colored lettuce. And to pack some protein into this salad we have got a hard boiled egg. These you can also get at any area on campus. I've seen them in coffee shops, in the layer. They have plenty of hard boiled eggs and you only need one for this recipe. And of course we want to add a little more flavor to this. Balsamic vinegar you can get also in the salad bar on campus. You don't even need the oil. It has so much flavor. So we're going to top the salad off with this. And you only need two additional ingredients to this salad, which you can also get at the salad bar or any grocery store. And that's sliced onions and sliced apples. So once again, all you need for Mama's tuna salad is a can of tuna, Amanda's healthy tuna spread, lettuce, a hard boiled egg, balsamic vinegar, a sliced apple and sliced onion. So we have all these ingredients and all you need to do is crack your egg, unshell it and put it in your tuna mixture. The incredible edible egg is packed with protein 
and is the perfect way to start out your breakfast, but it's also great to incorporate it into any meal of your day. Make sure you don't get any shells in here. You don't want to be eating those. And then we're going to add some onions and some apples with our leafy greens. Perfect. And our apples. Green apples are the best for this recipe, but of course you can use any of your favorite apples. And then we just put this tuna right on top. And we're gonna top it off with some balsamic vinegar. How beautiful is this? Top it off and you've got Mama's tuna salad. The last recipe I'm gonna do is every childhood favorite, the tuna melt. Most people just do, you know, some mustard, cheddar cheese, and the tuna on the bread and heat it up. But today, I'm gonna put a little twist to it. This is tuna melt with a twist. You need a can of tuna, Amanda's Healthy Tuna Spread, Parmesan cheese, walnuts, sliced onion, and of course, who could forget the most important part of a tuna melt, our bread. Oro wheat, whole grains are really good for your heart. You need about 50 grams a day in your diet and whole wheat bread uh, gives you those whole grains. So we'll use that for our tuna melt. Is with our bread, we're gonna put some mustard on both sides of the bread pieces. You can get mustard from the layer honey mustard, but I think Dijon mustard is the perfect mustard for this recipe. The little kick that Dijon gives you, the extra spice, is uh, amazing with the Parmesan and the walnuts. So we're going to put that on there. And this mustard is going to act like a glue for our Parmesan. See here, all the shredded cheese is just going to stick really, really nicely to that bread with the mustard on it. And this is a melt, so we do want a gracious amount of cheese. All right, and then what we're going to do is with the tuna that I pre-made, we're going to add our sliced onions and then our crushed up walnuts. An easy way to crush up walnuts and do a more biteable size is what I did in the last episode. Basically you just get some walnuts, put them in a Ziploc bag right here, use a hard surface like so to crush them up. Now they are biteable size. So we're just going to mix that in with our tuna, Greek yogurt, mustard, lemon, and onion. Mix that up. And we're going to put that right on top of the cheese. Like Now let's add a little more cheese. This is a melt, so I think it needs a little more. Let's top this off. I'm guessing none of you have a panini press in your dorm. Have no fear, Amanda is here. Easy alternative, the microwave. So just nuke that baby in the microwave for about 30 seconds and you have got a tuna melt. How beautiful is this tuna melt? We'll just slice this baby in half. And there you go, you've got your tuna melt with a twist. Look how beautiful that is. And let's see if he likes our food. Hey Eddie, Hello. you came right in time for lunch. There's so many things you can do with tuna for lunch in your dorm room. Now, 
What do you usually have with your tuna? Maybe just a little mayo, maybe some mustard. All right, well, I have a healthier spin on the classic. This tuna is mixed with Greek yogurt, a splash of lemon juice, and honey mustard. And this salad has a hard-boiled egg in it and some onions, balsamic vinegar, and sliced apples. That you want to try? I would love a taste. All right. Mmm. Good? That was really good. Good, good. All right. And next, I made a tuna melt. You probably have it with your cheddar, right? Mm-hmm. Well, this one I made with Parmesan cheese, crushed up walnuts, and onion. And I mixed the tuna with the same things, Greek yogurt, honey mustard, and lemon juice. You want to try? I would love a taste of this as well. All right. I just heated it up in your microwave. Wow, that was really good. <laughs> so what time will you be coming to cook for me tomorrow? <laughs> well, I'm hoping that as easy as this is, you can make it in your dorm room. So have no fear, Amanda is here. Looks like Eddie will be making some tuna creations in his dorm room. I'm Amanda, and thanks for watching.